two words, atrocious application. I'll keep this short and sweet because I don't really want to talk about that game more than what I've got to. Well done, Huddersfield. Um, in my opinion, I thought Huddersfield deserved the three points. Um, Sunderland had a couple of efforts, really, but I felt the intensity was not there again. And I felt it was just too pedestrian. It was too slow. It was too static. Um, and I felt that Huddersfield showed a bit... Well, maybe I'm watching a different game, but I thought Huddersfield showed a bit more fight than we did. Um, I'm not saying we didn't try, obviously, because I, I know that's an easy thing to say when you get beat. But... For me, ultimately, if you want them to get in the top six, and yeah, I don't think we'll get in the top six, but that doesn't change the fact that that should be the aim. And at the end of the day, people can have their opinion that, yeah, is the squad good enough to get in there at the minute? Well, so, well, if you're losing to Huddersfield with all due respect to them, then no, probably it's not, because you can have your deficiencies with the squad or whatever you want, but for me, it's better than losing twice to Huddersfield. But again, that's not Huddersfield's problem. They'll take the win and rightly so. Enjoy it, and it's a big win in their battle to stay up in the championship. Um, they're not, you know, they beat Sheffield Wednesday 4-0 in the previous home game. They uh, narrowly lost to Southampton and were leading for large spells of that game. So it, it was obviously going to be a tricky one, but I just felt the squad could have given a little bit more tonight. I felt we were... I didn't think we took enough responsibility. I thought the application was slow. And something that I'm really starting to get tired of is... I hear this argument all the time when... If you stop Clark, you stop Sunderland. And yeah, to a degree, that is true. But... And I don't know whether we're... And, and it's easy me saying this. I'd like to hope we're working on this in training. Like... Are we are trying to maybe utilise the space that other places that it's open then opens up for other players because of the fact that Clark's got two, three men on him all the time when he's got the ball? Because then that opens up space for everybody else. That's something we should be hammering into the players and hammering it into them from a coaching perspective. And maybe they are doing that. I don't know. The goal, yeah. Guys, I'm sorry, but if you're sick of me talking about clean sheets, then you might want to stop watching because I will, no, I will, I will not stop going on about them. They are massively important. They are a vital part of football. Football is not all just about the other end. And yes, going forward, we were toothless as well. But it doesn't mean that it excuses atrociously appalling defending at the back. Yes, Patterson, I think, was Patterson was very poor for the goal. But even then, like, for, I mean, even the free kick and the build-up to it. It was needlessly waste. We were messing around with it at the back, and that's what caused the free kick to be given away, which then led Huddersfield to taking the lead. And it's so many times I've seen it this season. You give because you've given a team something to hang on to, and you haven't kept a clean sheet. You then you're going to get more and more frustrated and not able to break them down, and it disrupts the rhythm. It's not just about defending; it impacts things going forward as well. So I'll keep standing by it. I think I'd like to, and I'm not saying other people don't, but I like to think I've got higher defensive standards. And I know some of my argument, I think, argued to me, I think that um, only three teams, I think, or three or four teams have conceded more than we have. But I'm sorry, like, I don't really care about that. The, the, the amount of terrible goals we've given away. If there were good goals we were conceding, then it's fair enough. If the ones where you couldn't do anything about them, then that's one thing. But conceding awful goals, like the one on Saturday was awful, the one tonight was awful, the one, the second goal against Ipswich was awful, the one against Hull was awful, the one against Borough, I thought, was poor defending um, it's all little things that if they just learn to improve these and start to keep clean sheets we would start to get more points and I know that sounds I know I'm captain obvious in that regard but still going forward as I said look we had a couple of chances and but I just felt Huddersfield showed that bit more grit than we did um, so I don't know maybe I'm watching a different game so as always if you're respectful in the comments then there's no problem with that but if you want to get in the top six then you, in my opinion you sh it's not excusable to lose to games like this but like I said we don't have a god given right but you need to be winning games like this if you want to be in the playoffs but I don't think we'll get there unfortunately but anyway guys good luck to Huddersfield for the rest of the season um, and yeah I love you and leave you to it if, you, if you're watching the video and you're not a regular subscriber then hit the like button and subscribe it would mean a lot and a trip back to the northeast now yeah that's going to be fun Take care, guys, and see you on Saturday for the Tony Mowbray Derby.